Good evening. I, my name is Chris Miracle. I live in Hamilton County, Florida. Um, I'd like to talk to you about karst terrain and the effects the pipeline may have or will have on, on it. Earlier this year, uh, Swanee River Water Management District performed a dye test at Falmouth Spring in Swanee County. This spring is unique in that there's a large sink associated with it. The dye that was put into this large sink appeared days later in four other springs three miles away. These springs were on the Suwannee and Withlacoochee River near the confluence of those two rivers, not far from where the proposed pipeline is uh, going to cross the Swanee River. Uh, these springs also, each of them, have mapped cave systems associated with them. And those are available at the Water Management District. And these cave systems expand for a long way. And the dye revealed that all five springs, Falmouth and the other four, were interconnected with a network of caverns, caverns that did, were not mapped on the cave systems. Well, Sable Trail in the draft EIS has identified four springs within a mile radius of the proposed crossing of the Suwannee River, the closest one being a quarter of a mile from the proposed crossing. Now it is highly probable that these springs are connected with a similar network of caverns in which the pipeline could intersect. Now these, those are not really my words. Um, I'll, Sable's karst mitigation plan states, quote, cave systems and spring conduits could be intersected. So they're admitting that it can happen. Now another river, just a short distance away, the Alapahol River, it goes underground through a series of sinks and travels underground through another network of caverns and emerges along the Suwannee River 10 miles away. And we, uh, there are also sinks along the. I'll wrap it up quickly. There are also sinkholes along the proposed pipeline path. If you walk that path, you will see sinkholes on both sides of the river. These sinkholes don't stop at the state line. As you've heard, they are here in Lowndes County as well. They're the wells. Uh, that John mentioned leak into the aquifer. Um, the karst terrain, such as it is in this area, and with the pipeline going through it, can have catastrophic results. And these claims are not speculative, as you saw the explosion under the river in the Arkansas River. So these things can happen. Uh, there was a sinkhole uh, that formed under another pipeline recently, and they had to move the pipeline. So, being that they're not speculative, that they have happened before, they can happen again. And we don't want that to happen. And I have, you know, the question is, is how can you, you know, Sable Trail mitigate an exploding pipeline or reduced and altered river flows. How can they mitigate that? What do they say? Oops, maybe we shouldn't have done that. That's all I've got to say. Thank you, sir.